Hey, how's it going, everyone? <clears throat> Alright, we're just gonna take care of a few things. Sunlight altar. Oh, yeah. Let's go craft the remaining things. I don't know. We got Manus' soul. And that's it. Oh, so the only other thing I have is that uh, um, dagger for Gwyn's weapon. But again, I'm not going to play through the game to get to Anerlando, um a second time just to craft that when I have it in another uh, save file. So I'll just cover it then. Um, alright, so maybe he has some text now that we've spoken to Goth. Not sure. Alright, so... Oh! <laughs> I need 5,000 souls. Okay, gotcha. Um... Uh... Alright. I'm gonna use the Tin Banishment. Catalyst. Okay. Um, let's see. A sorcery catalyst born from the soul of Manus, father of the abyss. A rough old wooden catalyst large enough to be used as a strike weapon. Similar to the tin crystallization catalyst, it boosts the strength of sor sorceries but limits the number of castings. All right, that probably wasn't worth it to save up for all the boss weapons, just because they're not the most lore-rich. I guess some of them have some cool stuff, but... Um, all right, so... Um, how did that happen? I've seen some random floaties, but I've never seen one in Anderlando. Oh, that's cool. So this one's got um, rated enough that there's actually a different icon for... Uh, it's usually the Undead Merchant, I believe. Uh, it, used to get, it was going to be Oscar. was going to be like Oscar of Astora. It's going to be the icon that they use, but this one's voted up 139 times, so it's Solaire. Which is cool. They have them for like up to thousands, I think. Like different icons that they use. <clears throat> Although you never see them just because, I mean, I've never seen them. Uh, maybe during a uh, Back to Lordran or something event when people can get on and upvote enough of them. But I don't think I've seen a Solaire in the, in the flesh. There's another one. Yeah, so imminent grief. It's eighty-five, and still it's the undead merchant. Like he, I guess it's a hundred is the first change. So I mean, that's a lot uh, for things. Okay, dark moon tomb. We've done the abyss. Yeah, we're gonna have to go there before we kill Gwen, daughter of chaos. We've killed her, and. There's no one else there. Altar of the Glaive Lord, Stone Dragon, all the DLC, um, the Depths, Undead Parish, I guess. It's the only thing. 
Um, I also said I was going to go back to the Pantheon Variamas to get that spell, and although I now uh, know where it is, I looked it up. I'm not going to go back for that. Show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Yes. Well, thank you. This ember really is something special. I'm already under its spell. I sense great potential indeed. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh, what does it say about territories? Oh, yes. It is said to oh. house the grip. Right. Alright. Well, as much as it I don't wanna do this, I'm it's we're gonna we're gonna kill him. Well, you got some nerve say coming at me like that. I'll tear you to shreds, you hollow. <laughs> Oh god, he's gonna take me out. <laughs> it's interesting, he does that, um... That was a... In a uh, Dark Souls 2 item. Can I not parry those? There's a Dark Souls 2 weapon from the DLC that um, that has the ability to dive like that. Kind of. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'm just gonna kill him. Curses, you damn Man, I didn't feel good about that. All right, metal hammer of Andreas Stor, blacksmith of the old church, can be used as a strike weapon, but better left in the hands of its talented owner. Is his anvil always that way, or did he does he knock it over when he like goes? It's cool. You can see uh, there's some balder. There's a Balder shield, there's a Berenique tower shield or whatever. Um, I'm gonna check the Duke's archives because I don't know if I properly checked. I probably did. I, I just did those um, I did those episodes like three times, uh, so I, I guess I don't really remember what I properly checked, but I'm going to just see if we can get his stuff here, even if he doesn't go hollow. No? Okay. But I actually th think that's all. I mean, I think we've been pretty thorough with clearing out areas. Painted world. Uh, let's go. Let's go get that thing, cause I I'm gonna need to fill <laughs> fill up some time here, cause this isn't gonna be all that. Um, I mean we can have a short episode too, but might as well go and check it out. Um. Something back here, okay. So the reason that I didn't find it is because it was back in here.
Okay, well, I don't know what died. Okay. And yeah, so here's the guy, um, and I was also considering doing this, but I just didn't, so I'm going to do it now. Um, just showing what happens when you kill him without um, fire. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's like he does not like his plight. He's got his head in his hands, and he won't attack. I just love the little things like this that they do. I mean, we had it in the DLC with that one sorcerer. But yeah, this is what happens when you attack it. Yeah, it just fills you up with toxic. Alright, so let's look at this. Fire Surge, and that's the one that they were shooting at us. Might as well read it. Pyromancy foreign to the Great Swamp. Create a surge of flame from the palm of the hand. Not all pyromancy originates in the Great Swamp. One hears rumors of unknown pyromancers inhabiting various lands, and this spell is the work of another one such outlander. So yeah. Um, anything else over here? Might as well clear this area out. I don't know if there's any other... <laughs> wow. I don't know if there's any other items in here. Confusing. Alright, so that's back this way. So I must have. I was pretty lucky. So I think, yeah, it's just the main room. Alright. Well, that's it. I thought there was... Oh. <laughs> also, based on where that um, room is, I would imagine that... I'm just trying to find those holes. I don't know. Someone uh, commented on my Ariamis video that this was meant to be the Undead Asylum. And um, it makes sense. Like, so the Undead Asylum that we see is like this area, but in the future once everything is all decrepit and stuff um so i guess like it's got a lower layer like we start in the lower layer and then um we climb up a ladder probably where that ladder is and then this is where we fight the asylum demon potentially or maybe it's in this courtyard but there's two doors, the one in there and the one in, over here, similar to, and one of which is locked. So it's like, and then this way over here is kind of like where you would go to get the crow to pick you up. I don't know. Plus there's all these hollows here. 
So it makes me think that maybe if that is true, that this was painted by um, Ariamis during during the actual Undead Asylum. Thought I'd try to. Oh, that's the Great Sword, actually. Um, painted during the time where um, the Undead Asylum actually existed like this. Um, and although this is taken on another, you know, a life of its own, I guess, um, that's where its origins are, in, uh, are from. It also kind of explains why the peculiar doll is found in our cell. Um, it could be that Priscilla once was um, in our cell or in the, the undead asylum at, at any given point or, you know, time is convoluted or I don't know, you know, that type of thing. Now we've already seen this. That dive is a pretty slow. Do I have on... Oh, I have uh, from the farming. I'll put this back on. Did I do it? Yeah. Because why not? all off. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that piece that comes down like a ponytail. Just gonna see if uh, Lord's Blade Ciaran had something like that. Um, I think, yeah, this is just going to be a super short episode. Um, I'm going to go and, uh, go back to Firelink, I think. Let's I mean, I really think everything else has been dealt with. <laughs> I was too efficient for my own good. I thought there would be lots of stuff to, to kind of wrap up and do little things, but I mean, outside of, you know, I mean, I guess one thing that we can do now that we've been there and, you know, whatever, is go see the, the cats up and see if there's any items over in that area, which means I think Undead Parish is probably the closest. I mean, it's the only area in the game I haven't gone in this playthrough, so let's do it. It'll give us some things to do in this episode. Hey, Andre. Oh, God. That's interesting that, yeah, see his, his, yeah, both his stool and his, looks like he's working on a bald or side sword or something, or uh, maybe a rapier. Um, yeah, that's really creepy as shit. Um, but yeah, he knocks this over when he fights. That's kind of cool detail. I 
I wonder if there's anyone else like that that respawns dead, regardless of whether you've traveled away or whatever. Yeah, I guess this is a fitting thing to do too, because then we can kind of see, like, this is what the guys used to look like, or the guys in the, uh, in the royal wood they used to look like that and now they're lost their clothes and have like more growth coming out of them um all right i think i'm going to rest at this bonfire um because i think you know if all three of those cats gang up on you, they're stat bags, and so it'd be nice not to have to run all that far. Alright. Oh! Also, uh, we gotta get Beatrice's stuff. I think that's the only set that we... Beatrice helped us with the Moonlight Butterfly um, fight and was supposed to help us with the Four Kings, but I hadn't been human, and I figured I'd play them more than once, so I figured I'd human up next time, and of course I didn't need to. So yeah, this is where we would, this is where Calamite, you know, was coming up or flying around. Close to where Hellkite flies, I guess. We can still summon Dusk. Uh, we should probably do that. Even though we got these guys on our tail now. Boom. Come on. What do these guys drop? Blue tiny chunks, huh? Cool. That's a weird texture. All of this is weird. Alright, maybe Dusk thanks us. I knew that I saw her sign in different places. I guess it's randomized. <laughs> maybe she comes in now and, and fights me, kills me. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. It is an honor to see thee again. I shall follow thine wishes. My home of Ulysseo was reduced to ashes long ago in my time. I have been alone ever since. Hmm. But to be summoned thus, and to be of service to thee, oh, forgive me. I think that we already had that. This may strike thine ear as somewhat peculiar. But long ago, in my homeland of Ulysseo, I was beset by a creature from the abyss. I would have perished then. Were it not for the great knight Artorius, in truth, I saw little of what transpired, for mine senses were already fled. Interesting. But even still, there was something about Artorius, a certain balance of the humors that quite perfectly fits your semblance. Heavens, <laughs> could it be that? Oh, dear me. That was Ulysseo, many centuries ago. Please excuse my fanciful musings. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, she even thinks it's notorious. This may... Oh. And she doesn't sell anything new, but let us... If thou art in me, I wish to be of a... Oh, help me, my rescue. 
That's weird that you can kill her. <laughs> Didn't think you could do that. The other thing that um, I was going to do was kill uh, Shiva. But uh, again, I have that stuff in another save, so since I'm not sure the process of doing that, I wouldn't want to fight them in the forest. I'd have to go join the Forest Covenant, then go to Blight Town, and all for not a lot of gain, so. So yeah, I think this actually goes up higher, and it goes to the area that was above. So this is when we like went across here, and then um, there was always this giant that came falling down there. It's cool because it's like it's very similar, but it's so different too. And you know, it, it it's it gets a pass for being, you know, like quote unquote used content. And then here's where we where we saw um Calamite. So yeah, I was wrong actually. So this is where Calamite comes and this is where we walk up and that there's a twinkling titanite and you drop down and then it's the abyss. Which is interesting because that means that this area was all repaired. So where is this? I always get confused around here. Is this... Okay, I think, yeah, that's where we get Shiva's. Okay, that's interesting. I, uh, I must have missed looking this way when we... Alright, so this way... Yeah, it's where the cats are. can see one prowling up there. Looks like Alvina. I, I wonder if we can fight one without attracting the other two. I mean, this might be a, uh, a job for the paladin armor because, oh, what is, that look dirty. Um, just because I, like I'm just getting knocked down too much or whatever. I do like this armor and got through most of the game, but I'm just realizing that in some cases, being light doesn't really help unless I can avoid all damage or the necessary damage. I wonder if I can no longer summon Dusk now. Like, if I killed her here, I should be able to summon her, like, because nothing would have happened in her own time. Is that her signature? No, that's it. Okay. Should almost wear the wood green or the ring or whatever. 
can you change equipment on, on a ladder? Yeah, I think where that waterfall is essentially falling from down there, like that second layer is where we came with the dogs. All right. I guess what I'll do here, if possible, is I'll kill this one cat, but I won't kill the others. Maybe you do get something for killing all three. I really don't care to find out. Alright. Just want to leave those two up there. Three of them <laughs> coming at you is uh, not fun. sure it's just a soul but who knows maybe it's like here's a thing that answers the whole mystery for you oh <laughs> I thought the I'm just gonna tank this kind of okay nice so they seem to have a little bit less health, maybe. Don't die now. weird. Thanks for jumping over me. Coming here at the point where we're at Dark Root Garden in this game would have been, you know, definitely our death. Alright. Let's get this amazing lore rich item. Our celebrate war. That's what we get for our for our uh, time here. I mean, the other thing that happens is that we can then go to Artorius's boss fight without the crest of Artorius. And we've been all through here. Don't think I need to grab any of this stuff. I don't think there's anything to grab. Um, let's go to uh, Artorius' grave because, you know, I don't remember anything being different, but I mean, if I were playing this for the first, the DLC for the first time, I would have at least wanted to try to check. So yeah, I mean, I think this is the sanctuary like, and this is, leads to the sanctuary, so we would always come out, and we'd go up that side <clears throat> where those two guys were. And there's the Anorlando up there, and it was there in the, in the past. And, then, and I said there was this part that was broken off here. So this is the sanctuary guardian, or the sanctuary guardian, the Ulusil sanctuary here. Cleared out and changed. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I think that's probably CRM. That's just my guess. We found her ring on her. All right. Um, I'm just going to uh, come back here and um, we're going to go to the uh, Valley of the Drakes so we can get Beatrice's armor. Oops. I think we get our catalyst and all that stuff. Let's see how easy we can fix these guys now. A little easier. It still isn't nothing. Don't push me off. Don't catch me in that. Might as well take them out while they're so easy. Over these Astora Knights, fought the poison dragon, curled up in a ball. I think this world is really well put together. Huh. Huh. Why is Beatrice's armor not there? Oh. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, did it not load for some from some reason? You saw that too, right? Did, did I just go crazy? Am I literally like... Should I check myself in? So here's another female corpse. Which is Hat. And Beatrice's Catalyst. Yeah, because she appears when you uh, beat the four kings. Although it seems like she probably appears when you hit this trigger or something. Uh, I'm just going to get inside before we read this. I don't know why I like to be safe when I read something. I mean, I guess I know why, but... Okay. Hat of the Rogue Witch, Beatrice. Almost all magic users that employ a wand studied at Dragon School, but Beatrice is one of the few exceptions. She braved the abyss, but did not live to tell of her ordeal. So she was much long after Ulysseel and all that. She was more that she she died, I guess. She, she must have survived the Four Kings fight, but got taken by the abyss, and then she you know, came out of New Londo, which is right up this ladder, and she then came here and died. That's what I'm guessing. Catalyst belonging to Beatrice, the rogue witch, contrasts with Venheim Catalyst. This ancient catalyst shows signs of being used for age-old sorceries. It has been passed the hands of many generations to get here, and you can see that it is uh, the similar shape to the Ulusil Ivory Catalyst, although it looks very weathered. Well, I guess this shape is not at all. But the end does look like maybe they've put an Ulusil Ivory Catalyst on the end of something. Like another staff.
This kind of reminds me of the one of those demon hammers or axes we were looking at that was made out of wood. Anyway. Um, also, I think... Oops. <laughs> I think we might have an ember. To, I don't know if we gave him both the embers. Oh, I was beginning to wonder when you'd come. Have you materials? Hmm? What <laughs> Nothing. Both? As usual. So yeah, he's got both. All right. Come back soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me lore, and I will. Um. We could farm the Jagged Ghost Blade and such, but, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, alright. So now that we're back here, we'll do the last bit of... lore and stuff. I think we killed everyone that... we just have to kill Domino, but I don't even think killing him will do anything, because we he sells his armor, we read that, I don't think he has any whip, I, I'd like to see how he fights, I guess, I, maybe that's the whole reason I should be killing people on camera here, is not for their items, but to see how they fight, I don't believe you can kill Rickert or Anastasia of your own will, Like, I don't even want to try, because I want to use this bonfire, but I don't think you can kill them. So, we took care of Griggs and Big Hat. We took care of Ingward. We took care of Petrus and Rhea and Vincent Nico. We took care of this folk, this guy whatever the hell his name is. Um, and we have Patches. Well, let's see if he says anything. Weird. Oh, you again. You've come at the perfect time. Some new I saved them specially. Oh, cool. Just for you, my darling. Glad I didn't hit him. Unless he's not telling the truth. I'm done with the looting. Yeah. Come on. No. Yeah. Well. Curses! What's wrong with you? Well, if that's what it has to be. <sighs> oh, don't fall off. Curses! How in the? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> and he has a. He has a Crescent X. When I was playing my, when I went through my old game, I wondered why I had three cre or four Crescent Xs. And it must be because I killed Patches every time, and I got one, and I bought one, probably. Um, nothing up there. Let's, okay, let's go. Domino's got a f few things. Maybe he only has Artorias' stuff, but basically everything he can have. Well, that's not even true. Um, I'm going to take this guy out just so I don't... I'm just going to take everyone out here. It doesn't... Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess he has the great... Oops, someone rang the bell. You can hear it from here. Uh, he's got the Great Lord stuff that will obviously come after we've beaten him in, like, New Game Plus. But again, I'm not going to go through it to go get that. We'll just read that in my other save. I hate your mind. I didn't expect. I suppose great. Um, I guess we have 30,000, so we can buy stuff from him um, and see if he tells us anything new. I'll buy all the helms or something. Yeah, so he only has Artorias. But let's read it. Helm of Artorias the Abyss Walker, one of Gwyn's four knights. 
Uh, the death of the helm's owner can be surmised from the corrosive dark of the abyss and the musty azure blue tassel, once a symbol of pride and glory. Um, I was just having a discussion with a friend about how I was thinking that the descriptions of items are all objective, omniscient narrator, and how that we should probably rely on them because we were talking about deception of Gwendolyn or Gwendolyn's deceptions and illusions and just to what end are things an illusion in this game? Um, like what's the real story underneath here? And I was kind of assuming that we could get an objective omniscient narrator from the descriptions, which I think for the most part is true, but something like this, um, that like the abyss walker, um, I guess he did walk the abyss, but it does kind of imply that he died be from the abyss. Like, he succeeded. I don't know, maybe it isn't. Maybe it is omniscient. I don't know. The death of the armor is only conspired from the cross of dark. Yeah. So yeah, let's buy everything that we can. Well, all the helms that we can. Um, here. Thank you. I have this funny feel, and you may. Okay, I'm just gonna pop some more souls here so I can actually get more from you. Oh, that's more than enough. Okay. I should. I okay. I'm afraid I don't see really him. so he gave us all his tips hmm well whatever thank you I and we'll make wait let me just just check. hmm I'm afraid okay well that is a shame come yeah. back again not every yep, 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 yep. um might as well try on some of these. Just to look at him. It's cool. Head of a lion. This looks like a head of an eagle. Go didn't really have anything, and uh, who's the other one? Oh, Sierra. We do have her helm, but not on me. That's a cool one. It's the the dark sun crest. Um, you can't really see the face. Alrighty. It's a pretty cool hat. <laughs> All right. What problem do you have now? Oh, so he I'm uses peace. he uses crystal stuff. Enough of you, I say. Hmm. That was an interesting choice. Did he fall down? I don't know if he drops anything. Just in case he has like some. I, mean, I don't know what he would drop. He sells his stuff, and he. Doesn't use like he uses weapons. He sells. I didn't realize he uses the crystal stuff. Interesting. All right. Um. I'm sure, there's something I'm forgetting. Let's go talk with Koth. I don't think he has anything to say, but then let's talk to him and then go... See, I don't think I need the the, Artoria, the Covenant of Artorias to go to the Abyss. It would be funny if I did. I can't remember. 
I doubt it. Ah, die. Okay. So you are the one that caused all of Ulusil's problems, eh? What do you have to say about that, if anything? What is it? I am your guardian. Go on. State your wish. They failed me. Every last... Yeah, that's, that's what they said before. Alright. Very well. Be still. Alright, I hope we can do our humanity here. Pretty sure we can. Yep. We can't kindle it, though. We just get 20. Alright. And so, we should probably have a short next episode. I mean, assuming I uh, can kill Gwyn in a relatively short amount of time. But, uh... Yeah, that's all for our um, wrap-up episode, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.